Well, more and more television follows, and in 1957, you share a duet with another up-and-coming young vocalist. I would say such wonderful things to you. How many records did you say you sold? Of why? Hmm? 500,000. Hmm. Hmm. And I would say such wonderful... Th How many did you sell of As I Love You? <clears throat> About a million. About a million. Well, he's on stage tonight at Scrooge, but he sent this message. It's Anthony Newley. Shirley Bassey, car humbug. Hello, Shirl. It's Newley. I just wanted you to know that I was working. I have very, very fond memories of the time we sang If You Were the Only Boy in the World and I Was the Only Girl a hundred thousand years ago. Remember, if you were the only girl in the world and I was the only boy. A million copies. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tony Newley. Well, the 60s really swing for you with a string of hits, sell-out tours and the first of four Royal Variety shows. By 1971, you had the ultimate accolade appearing on this show. Tonight, you can put the boot in because here is Ernie Wise. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. What? You got my shoes on. Yeah, well, that's, uh, let me get to the joke. <laughs> Shirley, you appeared on our show and you were wearing boots, weren't you? Well, they were my boots. These are your shoes. I've been stuck with them ever since. <laughs> Walking about in them. I have your boot framed. <laughs> are you... <laughs> in depth, of course, yes. Besides the boot, yeah. after that, I did my spot yeah. in a uh, sequin, silver sequin gown. That's right. Yeah. And you said, <laughs> what? doesn't she look like a Brillo a bag? Brillo. <laughs> <laughs> I want them back. Are you going to sit through the whole show like that? Yes, great. <laughs> and you should see what he's got under the jacket. As well. <laughs> uh, Shirley, I have to tell you that another international star has flown in tonight from New York with a bone to pick. I've only one thing to say to you, Shirley Bassey. Leave my husband alone. alone. Now, this could be tricky. It's <laughs> Millicent <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Where's your husband? Uh, I'm not sure we should hear about this, but I'm sure we will. No, well, you see what? usually happens is when Shirley comes over to sing at Carnegie Hall or that, she'll phone me, but a lot of times I'm in Los Angeles or I'm over here in London, but somehow Mark and Shirley always managed to have lunch or dinner. It got so bad once that she phoned and I was in and she said, oh, hello, where's my boyfriend? <laughs> Actually... Sorry about that. No, we've been friends for a long time. We have. Mark adores before you. Before we met him. I know. I mean, before you met him. <laughs> <laughs> See, before we met him. Mark adores you, I adore you. Oh, and apart from being a fabulous talent, you're also a very special Thank lady. You, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Melissa Mark. <laughs> well, 
Well, another favourite way of passing the time away from work, apart from Millie's husband, is uh, going out shopping for your famous clothes. And Sharon, you sometimes go with her. That's right, I do. <laughs> and uh, we spend many hours in shops. And when we come out laden down with parcels, she has a very good way of hailing a taxi, haven't you? <laughs> oh, I know yes. what you do. You're going to demonstrate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That noise crossed the threshold of pain. <laughs> now, as, uh, as well as uh, for your work, of course, you need an extensive wardrobe for your social life. If you're a friend of Bassie's, life is a party. And she's at yours tonight. It is Susan George. Susan, you know her so well. Yes, we go back a very, very really long is, way, yes. don't we? And, we and uh, not with husbands, right? No. No, nothing not with to do husbands. with husbands. Nothing to do with husbands. <laughs> not at all. Oh. No. We well, have to get that straight. That's right. <laughs> We've got a very special friendship. I think it's a very special friendship. I know we both do, because we don't see one another for literally years sometimes, do we? And then that's all true. of a sudden we do again and we pick up right where we left off. And uh, in actual fact, the last time we saw one another, if you remember, I know you will, was at Tony Monopoly's first night for Moby right. Dick. Yes. And I once again had to go home early because I was working early in the morning and I left you, I seem to remember. You're always leaving me. Oh. <laughs> Under the table at the time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Susan George. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's good to have friends, yes. <laughs> now, Michael Alexander, you've been Shirley's uh, musical director for 12 years. I imagine life on tour can be quite lively. Well, on stage, um, about two-thirds of the way through the show, Shirley will introduce the orchestra, and everybody stands up. And then after that, she'll say, and, and uh, now I'd like to introduce you to two fellows who've been following me round the world for a very long time, and I've no idea why, because I don't pay them. And then I turn to Shirley and say, Yes, it's because we get the cast off frocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have evidence to the contrary. See, and what did you say about me the other night at the Albert? <laughs> we'll hear it from Danny LaRue. So you were in the Albert Hall audience, what, the other night? Yes, indeed. Was I ever. Was I ever. <laughs> and she said, may I say, she said, uh, you saw that dress, didn't you? Yes. And she went, like that, she said. And she said, Dan, she said, have you got any falsies? I said, love, I'm sitting on them. <laughs> <laughs> what can you say about this girl? We've known each other. Australia, down under. We, we sort of travel together. He follows you know. me everywhere. Of course I do. I want my frocks back. <laughs> <laughs> this woman is magic. She's, she's like a work of art. When you, if you like a painting and you look at it long enough and often enough, it becomes more beautiful, more talented. It's a joy to know you, Shirley. You are one of our greatest stars. You're a joy because you're real. Your talent is exceptional. You're pure magic. Thank I you. love you. Aww. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. <laughs>